Welcome. All right. What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today, hanging out with this Emmet single coil mouth to lung RTA. It's a pretty banging little mouth to lung RTA. It's a very serviceable mouth to lung RTA. And we're going to compare it when we get back out to normal view to one of my favorite, what I consider to be like the gold standard of mouth to lung RTAs, the K Fun Light Plus, and see how it compares. But right now, we're just going to take this, tear it apart, uh, top to bottom. First things first. Where's the drip tip? Pow! There's the drip tip. You get a nice little uh, swoopy, very comfortable in the mouth drip tip. This unthread out of here in your box of spares you get another drip tip right here that you can kind of see is a little bit smaller of a bore through the center here let me pull this off two drip tips right there and you can see this one over here on this side is just a little bit narrower through the middle it honestly doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of difference which drip tip you use then you can unscrew this to reveal your big juice fill holes two big kidney shaped juice fill holes there's an o-ring here on the top like a silicone o-ring right here that's going Going to you know create that vacuum seal it off in there and then you come down here to your AFC and you got a big wide AFC if you want to run this full open for a restricted lung hit you absolutely can or you can kind of close them off you want to run just three holes yeah absolutely you can and additionally spin this around and there's one singular hole so you can just use one singular hole at a time from down to this pinhole one a little wider a little wider the middle one is the one I like and then there's two up here that are big big bigger and then that's it and then you'd, you'd end up going back around to the sort of uh, slot but you can use all of these together or individually and I'm not sure why you'd want to run this on a hybrid mech mod but it does have a nice protruding static 510 pin there so we're just gonna pull the deck out there's your deck right there the rest of this tank is all just one piece the glass does come off for easy cleaning but the chimney itself with its internal airflow because it's top-down airflow to prevent leaking this is all just one one large piece this chimney doesn't screw out of here in any way now looking at your deck you have these two posts right here this is pretty clearly built for a round wire. I don't think you're going to be able to fit any like fused claptons or aliens in there. And then you have these holes right here where your wicks are going to sit and come in contact with your juice that's coming from underneath. And then this is where your airflow is going to come down the chimney and right into here and then kind of boom out that hole right at your coil and then boom out that hole right at your coil. So like I said, we're just going to build this up right now with a single coil. We're going to use the coil that comes in the bag of spares. You get a tool, you get extra screws, you get a bunch of extra O-rings, and then this is where your extra drip tip is going to be as well. And thankfully it does come with extra O-rings because the second time I took this amet apart and I pulled this glass off of here, this O-ring up here it seemed to be like glued to the glass and I pulled the glass off and it just pulled this O-ring and stretched it and just tore it in half. So thankfully there are spares. These O-rings aren't indestructible so you kind of have to be a little bit careful with them I guess. So like I said we're just going to install the included coil in here. You just unscrew these screws and then I have the coil right here. This came in the little baggie. I don't know if it's nichrome or canthal or anything it doesn't really say anywhere but it's pre-wrapped and we're just going to install it this is a big three millimeter coil so we're just going to get it set in there i just want to press it in there and kind of straighten it out you know just a little bit tighten these screws down just so they're snug for right now then we're going to kind of use our tool here to just get the coil where we want it to be you kind of want it sitting in this little nook right here so you have airflow coming at your coil and then airflow coming at your coil that actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to take care of these leads real fast. Yeah, and it's glowing nice and evenly. This came out to exactly one ohm. I've only got it sitting at about 10 watts right now because you don't just want to blast this and you know you, you have the ability to ruin your coils if you just blast them with power right away but at 10 watts looks like this is going to be glowing just fine. Just pulled some cotton through the center and you want to cut these so that your wicks can kind of dip down into these little holes right here. So so, I don't know. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to do something like that. ka -chow. Then it's easy enough to just tuck your wicks down into those little wick cups right there. Remember, there's holes in the bottom, so your juice is going to kind of be coming in from the bottom and hitting your wicks and then wicking up to your coil. And for this special occasion, I mixed up some Liquid Barn 12 milligram King's Custard. And so that's the juice we're going to be using today. Obviously, you just want to saturate this, saturate your coil, saturate your cotton. Everything needs to be wet right here. Hey, some little vapors 
are happening. Now this is only sitting at about 10 watts right now and that's just for, you know, building purposes. Once we start vaping it, we can adjust the wattage to where we like it. And then you can just kind of screw the whole tank together. And then lastly, you're going to want to pop your top right here and just fill it up through these large kidney shaped juice fill holes. Just but nice and easy juice goes in one way air comes out the other screw this back down reattach your drip tip and then boom yeah you got a completely built and wicked emmet single coil mouth to lung rta i'm going to go ahead and adjust the airflow to where i like it which is not that one but this one right here mouth to lung all day long so what we're going to do right now is we're going to get back out to normal view we're going to vape this thing So yeah, here we go. Amit, mouth to lung RTA. How does it hold up as a mouth to lung RTA? I am an old school vapor. I, I've been vaping for almost 10 years now. I've been using mouth to lung since the very beginning. I am a huge fan of mouth to lung tanks, mouth to lung vapes. I, I really appreciate a real good mouth to lung. How does the Amit hold up? Pretty damn well. Pretty damn well. I was honestly kind of shocked a little bit by the quality of mouth to lung vape from this particular tank. There's been some mouth to lung RDAs and RTAs lately that just, they haven't been good. They haven't really given me a real like nice mouth to lung that I'm used to. I'm a little bit of a mouth to lung snob, I guess. Not so much like a snob, but like I just really know what I enjoy in a mouth to lung experience, a mouth to lung vape or a mouth to lung RTA. And the Amit, Dude, the Amit's given me a damn good mouth to lung vape. So when I do mouth to lung, obviously I like to use the single airflow option as I'm assuming like most everybody would use the single airflow option. I turn it all the way down to the smallest one just to know where it is. I don't actually really like the smallest one. I just go one up from there. I go one up from the smallest one. I don't know the exact millimeter diameter of this particular airflow, but it's my favorite airflow for the mouth to lung. It's the it's the one that most closely resembles the K-Fun Light Plus. The K-Fun Light Plus is a mouth to lung RTA that's been around since 2013, and many people, including myself, still consider it to be the, the just the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme of mouth mouth to lung RTAs. It's just such a wonderful, satisfying mouth to lung vape experience and it is the most flavorful, easily the most flavorful mouth to lung vape I've ever had. It's just, it's just so good, the K-Fun Light Plus is. And I'm happy to report that the Amit mouth to lung RTA, it's good. It comes pretty close. It comes kind of the closest I've seen yet to the mouth to the to the mouth to lung quality of the K-Fun Light Plus. Now there's a few gimmicky things about this RTA. They have that whole 3D airflow type of thing, right? So the airflow goes in from the top, it goes down, and then it comes up at your coil in three different locations, from behind, from the forward, and from underneath. In my experiences, more airflow like that usually cuts down on the flavor. I would love it if they made a version of the Amit mouth-to-lung RTA with just a singular airflow coming up from the bottom. I genuinely think think that would deliver better flavor than their 3D airflow system. But even with the 3D airflow system gimmick, it still works. It still gives me a real great mouth to lung and it's fairly flavorful. But mouth to lung isn't all that this Amit mouth to lung tank can do. Even though it's called the mouth to lung tank, you can rock it with a real nice restricted lung hit. You flip the AFC around and it opens up all of these airflow holes and you can adjust it. You can adjust it down or you can adjust it all the way open. If you leave it all the way open, you can do a rad, rad restricted lung hit with it.
It's good. It's a real nice restricted lung hit. It's not as nice as say something like the Silver Play RTA, which in my opinion is one of the best restricted lung hit RTAs on the market, but the Amit does it real well. It's real satisfying, flavorful, swooshy, smooth airflow. So let's go ahead and start wrapping this up. A few things I didn't mention, it's a four mil capacity, no bubble glass, right? How exciting is that? No bubble glass. Four mil capacity without bubble glass, it's a 24 millimeter diameter, it's got that top down airflow so the damn thing is never going to leak but it still can get gurgly on you if wicked incorrectly. Aesthetically, I do not mind the way that the Amit tank looks at all, it just looks like a normal tank to me. It's got some ridges up here so that you can unscrew that top cap and really, you know, fill through those big kidney shaped juice fill holes. I don't love the way the drip tip looks, these short sort of swoopy drip tips, but they're real comfortable, real comfortable in the mouth. So I kind of put up with how it looks. So let's get down to brass tax as it were. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Amit mouth to lung RTA. No, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from about 30 to 35 bucks, which is very, I mean, very, very reasonable for a rebuildable mouth to lung RTA in my opinion. Now, if we're gonna play the aliens game or the FDA game now where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape with, is the Amit mouth to lung RTA something I would seek out and buy right away? Here's the thing, probably not. It is delivering a real nice mouth to lung vape experience from this RTA, but I am kind of too biased. I am way too much a fan of the K-Fun Lite Plus. If it came down to anything versus the K-Fun Lite Plus, anything is going to lose because the K-Fun Lite Plus, in my opinion, to me, for the way that I like to vape, is always going to win. So it might not be one of the things that I rush out and buy right away, but it is giving me a damn good mouth to lung. I, I am a mouth to lung sort of snob, as I mentioned before, and it's given me a stellar mouth to lung vape experience. I also like that you can open this airflow wide open all the way and do those like real flavorful restricted lung hits with this tank as well. Overall, it's just a really well constructed, well built, very versatile tank. So yeah, anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Amit, mouth to lung, R. TA, YouTube doesn't allow links in the description anymore, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Again, thank you so much for joining me, and as always, you guys, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.